Hello to my two subscribers. My name is Sydney, if you didn't know already. I'm a pediatric radiographer, and I'd like to take you to work today. Let's go. Good afternoon. Thank you. Good afternoon. Please say or spell your first and last name. Sydney Pip. I'm logging you in as Sydney Pip. So let's start off with a little tour. This is the tube that the x-rays come out of and they go onto the image receptor showed here. Now I'm gonna take you over to what's called a wall bucky. Here's the wall bucky. We use these for chest x-rays, upright abdomens, exams like that. There's a slide out tray that houses the large image receptor. So anything done upright will be done there. Here I'm showing how to set up for a baby chest x-ray. That is the board that the baby will lay their head up on the left side and their feet down on the right side. The strap that I'm covering now will hold onto their legs so their legs don't move while their parents hold their arms. I'm just lining up the tube with the image receptor that goes into the table bucky. Then I just raise it to the height that's comfortable for me. That exam did not go as expected. The child was a little bit older, not old enough that I would have them stand, but the parent refused to have them lay on the table as he's had x-rays before and had a bad experience with being on the table. So I worked with the parent. We had him stand at the wall bucky, which is why the tube is facing towards the left there um, over to where the wall bucky was. So here I'm just cleaning everything up. Now that the exam is done, that is the rolling shield. We're able to shield patients while they're standing by using that so that it's not touching them. Okay, so this is what the typical aftermath of a baby chest x-ray ends up looking like. Um, some people choose to roll the baby onto the side to do the lateral chest, but I typically like to do a cross table um, horizontal beam lateral just because it's more comfortable for the patient. The parents can understand and follow directions better as to how I need the patient to be positioned. Um, so it's easier for everyone except for the tech, but I don't mind at all. It gets good pictures. So I'm just taking the large Im image receptor out of its stand and placing it back into the table bucky. I obviously got hot running around because I took my jacket off and that hardly ever happens. So wiping down the baby board now. And then that goes on to a holder over to the right hand side. That little shield was just a gonad shield. I don't actually have a patient at the moment, but I'm showing how to set up for an upper extremity exam, I would typically do this for um, the patient's right arm, right hand, right wrist, right elbow, and it's pretty simple. This is a PA hand, an oblique hand, and our fan lateral. Now, some people can't do this. Also, babies have a really hard time doing this, so we have positioning aid sponges. 
So this one will help with the fan lateral to get all of the fingers from being superimposed. This is an angled sponge to help with that oblique projection. And typically the PA isn't an issue. Now this is a lateral forearm and an AP forearm. A lot of our patients can't do that, so we do trauma views. Instead of the lateral, it goes to an, a PA wrist and a lateral elbow. Then you change over to a lateral wrist and an AP elbow. Not all hospitals will have that as an option to do, so double check with your department protocols to see if you're able to do that or not. Here I'm setting up for an abdomen, also known as a KUB. It stands for kidneys, ureters, bladder. And that's pretty simple as well. Bozera. Log out. Okay, I'm logging you out. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it. So I ended up filming Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, we only had a handful of patients, and then Sunday, we had about 25 exams to do, so it was a bit busier. Um, I just wanted to make this video to kind of look back on as I move forward through my career. I'm going into CT over the summer. I hope that if you are an aspiring radiographer that this video brought you some hope and some excitement for what your future looks like and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me leave a comment below i'd love to speak with you and if um if nothing else i hope that you guys learned something new and that you enjoyed watching what i do throughout the day have a great day and i hope to see you next time Whenever that'll be. Bye.